Hello everyone! If you've been programming for a while, you will surely know how useful regular expressions can be when dealing with text. You may want to validate a string, for example, checking if a field is a valid email address, or you may want to extract a substring from a text. In either case, creating the perfect regex can take many attempts. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to an incredibly valuable tool called Regex 101 which makes working with regexes a breeze. All right, so the first example we're going to talk about is the basic functionality. We want to create, as an example, a regex to validate email addresses. And this is only a toy example because creating a regex for email addresses is another problem that it may seem. And if you want more information, I'll leave you a link in the video description. So we start with a five line example. Okay, so here we have five possible inputs for a field, and we want to check which ones of these are valid or not. So our first attempt is to use this regex, which I'm going to paste right here. As you can see, the first and the fourth rows are highlighted, which means that they are the only correct ones, okay? which, by the way, is very useful if you want to test some edge cases. For example, if I now create a new email, which has john23company.com, as you can see, it's not valid because here I didn't include the numbers. So if I want to include also this one, I'm going to include the number range. And as you can see now, also this one is valid, which makes really debugging regexes a breeze. Another very common use case for regexes is extracting substrings from formatted text. So as an example, I'm going to pass this three line CSV formatted text. Okay, in each row, as you can see, we have the name of a fictional character. If we now use this regex right here, we will be able to get the first name of each character. But a very powerful thing is that if we look at the right, we can see that each group content is shown in a very convenient way. And this makes it a breeze to get the content of multiple groups to see what we can expect from a complex regex. You may even want to take it a step further, extracting the text and replacing it with something else. And you can do that by using the substitution panel. For example, if I type name, as you can see, we get those matches replaced by name. And uh, I'm going to show you another trick, which is very useful. We're going to change this regex right here to extend it to the whole line. So like this, if we now type in the substitution, hello, followed by backslash one, you will see that we injected the extracted group in each line which trust me can really save a lot of time in some tasks. By the way, a lot of other advanced text editors such as Sublime Text offer this functionality. Finally, the last uh, thing I want to talk about is the code generator. If you click on this button right here, you will have the corresponding code for the regex in a lot of very popular languages, which makes it integrating with a script or, or a program very, very easy. All right, so that was all for this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel because I'll post lots of other interesting tips and tools. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video.